Hi, I'm Eric with the Hedge Invest Africa Opportunities Fund. I want to give you the update for January. Uh, we had a good month, but as you remember last, last year in December, we were very bullish on African markets. We noted the extreme pessimism, the super valuations, and the capitulation selling. All these were good signs. So we increased our exposure in equities and we bought some more African bonds. We also reduced our short portfolio substantially. So that worked out and the fund was up over 6% this month. We had almost all the positions contributed positively, but the biggest contributor to performance was the South African bonds and South African interest rate related stocks like growth point properties and redefined properties. So these property stocks benefited from falling interest rates in South Africa and a very strong currency. The short portfolio actually did quite well as well. <clears throat> the, the portfolio was basically flat for the month, but given such a strong market, it's a strong sign of alpha and we had very good returns from our shorts in the South African retailers, which came out with trading statements showing that South African consumers are still doing quite poorly and the results are going to be very bad. So just uh, vindicated our view on the South African retailers and our short positions there. So you could say that's a great month, good start to the year, but what's next? And I think first of all, we're going to continue to yield good returns from our African bonds. The African bonds are about 45% of the fund and our Ghanaian bonds are yielding 20%, Egyptian bonds yield 18, Nigerian bonds yield 17, and South African yields are just under nine. So we'll continue to earn those, that interest income on a daily basis. Secondly, February is going to be a big month for Nigeria. We have a presidential election coming up on February 16th. The Nigerian market has lagged the bouts in the rest of the world and the stocks there are very cheap. Expectations are super low that the current president Buhari continue to run Nigeria and Nigeria will remain low growth. But the challenger Atiku Akubar is very dynamic with a big plan for the economy to fix the power sector and invest in infrastructure. His campaign is gaining momentum and I think a surprise win by Atiku could have a big effect on the market and be very positive for our Nigerian bank positions. Finally, our positions in the commodity sector are doing quite well, and I think that's going to continue for the rest of the year. We've had a nice bounce back in oil and in copper prices. Palladium continues to be strong, but you've had a very strong move in iron ore. Uh, a 40 million ton supply disruption in Brazil has caused a big spike in the iron ore price, and I think it just shows you and confirms our view that these commodity markets are very tight, the world continues to grow, and there's very little supply coming for the next few years. These companies are making great returns right now, and I think it's going to continue, and it's undervalued by the market. So January was good, but I think there's reason to believe the rest of the year continue to be positive as well. Thank you.